Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 54 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. So they'll give you a wave function. It is a dis displacement of a standing wave, this one, right? And then ask you to find the distance between nodes, the amplitude, frequency, this kind of quantities. So now we look at this function, we can say some quantities. First of all, this one is displacement, right? Displacement from the peak to peak. The sign, this one, this term is just as a wave number key, 0 0.6. And also, this, this 42 is the omega angular velocity. So this is the quantity given. First one, I ask you to find the distance in unit centimeter between knots. So as this one we learned in previous, we can say this distance is just a half of the wavelength, right? And because the wave moves this way, and this is called knots. This is also called the knots. The distance between the two knots, the knots is just a half of the wavelength. So we need to find the wavelength first. Now, next question, how can we find the wavelength from the wave number or omega? There we can look at the, this function. The wavelength can be get by the wave number 2 pi over k, right? 2 pi over k. So in this one, we input lambda inside, we can find this distance is lambda over 2, just a pi over k. And input is a k, we get the answer there. The next question, find the amplitude. There, it tells us this is a displacement from this peak to this peak, 2.4. So amplitude is just a half of it, right? Becomes 1.2 cm. Next one asks the frequency. Easy. Frequency, we can use this one. Angular velocity over 2 pi. Angular velocity over 2 pi, we get it there. The next one, we need to find the speed of the wave. So speed of the wave is lambda times f. And lambda is use this function. So we input lambda inside there and input is the known quantities, get the answer there. The next one, find the speed of a particle at this position, x equal to 3.2 centimeters at t equal to 2.5 seconds. So there, it looks like we need to find the speed right first at the one position. So this one, we do the derivation, partially de uh, derivation. Because we need to find it at this position, so x. So there we can see partial derivation r d r t is the velocity at the one point x. So then we input the known quantities x equal to three point two centimeter t is two point five seconds. Get the final answer there. Thank you.